Good morning, I'm uh, Dave Stutzman. I'm the Director of Buildings, Maintenance and Energy for the Toma Area School District. And we, um, we started uh, our recycling program here in the Toma Schools back in 2010. And uh, that included uh, recycling paper, um, plastics, electronic waste, uh, aluminum cans, tin, et cetera. A pretty extensive recycling program. And we found that for the most part, it worked very well. We, we had a few issues, but solved most of those. We worked well with student council uh, and the Roots and Shoots uh, organization to implement the recycling program district, district wide. And found that for the most part, as long as we were inside our buildings, it went very well. We found that we had issues outside the buildings around our athletic fields, around um, our parking lot areas where people just uh, didn't uh, recycle as well as they should. And I think I found that, you know, when, when people decide to recycle at home, uh, they make that conscious effort to do that. And when we had the signage inside schools, it went very well. But when you got outside for some reason, they just kind of forgot all about it and and we had issues with recyclables ending up in the garbage and uh, vice versa so when that would happen unfortunately we'd have to take all the recycled material and throw it away when there was too much food waste and other non-recyclable items in it so we really had issues and challenges outside um, about uh, nine months ago we were contacted by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources to see if we were interested in a new pilot program which uh, was going to target athletic fields, recycling and athletic fields. And, and we applied uh, th uh, through their website and were accepted as one of five schools to, to engage in this pilot program. Um, what it is is they have partnered with the Wisconsin Beverage Association uh, and the DNR in order to to start this program where they use repurposed 55-gallon uh, drums that are used in the manufacturing process for soda. And so these containers, uh, these bright blue containers, um, were donated along with the lids uh, to the five schools. Uh, we put in to receive 22 barrels and lids and they have been placed around the high school campus uh, in hopes that now we have a clear choice. Uh, if you look at our old containers, the, uh, the gold containers were for trash and the black were for recycling, but they were basically the same other than the color uh, and some, some verbiage on them. Now, and, and because of that, because they were very much similar, uh, we had a lot of issues, as I mentioned, of trash being thrown into the recycling. Now, there, Toma is one of five. The closest one to us is north of here, Osseo Fairchild, and then the rest, the other three are on the east side of the state. Okay. Uh, as part of the requirements of the program, we need to monitor and weigh uh, the recycling that we pull out. We're going to compare that to what we have uh, thrown away and recycled in the past, working with our, our waste hauler. So we'll actually be able to measure uh, whether or not we're making a difference. It's going to last for two years. It's a pilot program for two years. And then we have to provide quarterly reports to the uh, Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and hopefully feedback on what we can do to maybe improve it. And then I'm, their, uh, their long-range goal is to roll this out to schools across the state. You know, it's as simple as just encouraging somebody to make sure that they recycle and to, to use the containers. We're making it about as simple as possible where you have a choice where the containers are side by side. So it's just simply making that last minute decision of which container to throw that uh, recyclable into. And, and word of mouth is probably going to be our best, our best avenue to get that change needed.